In this example, we're going to look at a very simple program, which is designed to take a temperature in Fahrenheit and convert it into centigrade. We're going to run through the steps, show you some common mistakes, and how to fix them. So let's get started. First, we have our application. Today's temp equals, and we use an input function. The input function is built into Python, and we'll get an input from the end user, and we're going to give the user a prompt, such as current temperature. The user will then input their temperature in Fahrenheit, and we will perform some mathematical formulas on it. You'll notice that in Python, it follows the same basic rules that you would find in algebra as far as the order of operations. So our function needs to take the temperature in Fahrenheit and subtract 32 from it first. So we're going to put that in parentheses. Multiplication and division is then done next. And then if we had any other additional subtraction or addition, that would be performed last. In between parentheses and your multiplication and division would be if you need to raise something to a power. And we can take a look at that example later. We then want to print out, it is currently the new temperature in centigrade. So let's take a look at this running. We already have our command console up and it's in the correct path. So we're just going to type in py temp.py. Temp in this case is short for temperature. It's asking us for a current temperature. I'm going to say it's 86 degrees. And when I hit the enter key, you're going to see an error. Now this error occurred because of the type of data we have. Whenever we get data from a user using the input, it's storing that information as a string. Now we didn't see those quotes around, so we may not think it's a string, but it is. The reason why is because Python doesn't know what type of information it's supposed to receive. It doesn't know if it's supposed to be a number, text, or some combination. So to be safe, it treats everything as a string unless we convert it. And so that's what we're going to do is we need to convert this information. Luckily, converting a string into a number is pretty easy. We just have to know what type of number. Is it going to be an integer or a float? So let's take a look at using an int real quick. Now int is a command inside of Python that will allow us to convert a string into an integer. I put int, open parenthesis, and I put that around today's temp. And putting around today's temp, I'm saying this is a variable I want to convert to an integer. I'm going to save this information. And now when I go to run it again, I'm going to type in the same information I did before. But it's able to convert that information from 86 into centigrade. Python is currently displaying this as we would hope. Let's run into a situation where we might have a small issue with this. Let's run our file again and see another case where we're going to run into an error. Current temperature. I'm going to say it's 97.5. And when I do, I get a very similar error as to our last error. However, there is a minor difference. Before, we saw an unsupported operand type for string to int. But now we get an invalid literal for int with base 10. And that sounds a little bit complicated, but what it means is that it's expecting an integer, but got a value that didn't look like an integer. Specifically, it had a decimal place. So anytime we're going to get data from a user, there's a strong chance that we might get someone who puts something with a decimal place, even if it has 0. .0. Therefore, we want to change our int command that we just added to float, and that's going to convert us to a floating point number, which allows us to have decimal places. Save our information. Go to run this again. Current temperature is 97.5, just like in our previous example, and it now runs. Of course, we do have another issue. And that issue is the fact that we got a number that is a little awkward. It's 36.388888, and it keeps on going for a while. This is not a nice way to write this number. So 
I want to look at doing something called a number format. And the number format is going to simply allow us to format a number into a way that's easier to read or maybe a little bit more common. So let's take a quick look at how we're going to change this so that we have a number that's easily read. Going back to our source code, in today's temp, I'm going to put a function before that called format. So format takes two parameters. Parameters are things that we send to the function. In this case, it's going to take the first parameter, which is our number we're going to format. And the second thing is how we want to format it. We're going to separate those with a comma. And our way we're going to format it is going to be enclosed as a string. I'm going to use single quotes and close my parenthesis. And I like to sometimes do this that way I don't forget to close something out. Just a little quick tip. I'm going to say dot two. So two places after my decimal is all I'm going to show. And that's going to be if I'm a floating point. So dot two F. This way, if it sees a floating point, it knows to put two decimal places. I'm going to save this document, go back to my command console, run my file again, give it the same answer I did before, and now instead of saying 36.388888, it rounds it for us and displays just the first two decimal places. I could have said dot one and that would have replaced it with only a one. 